In a country at the top of the world, or the bottom, according to point of view, there's a village that's built around a harbour. So, instead of getting there by buses, cars, trains and bikes, some people that live there had to travel in boats, which are called fairies. This is the story about the smallest of all the fairies, whose name was Fred. It was another cloudy day at Snug Wharf. Fred was waking up to notice a van driving to the deck. Postman Pat was wanting some of his parcels delivered to the Booney Island across the water. Good morning, Fred, said Pat. Can you take the parcels? I saw the post office where the route continues. I haven't taken the post before, said Fred. It's a pity Lou isn't here. She's in Booney Island. Pat put the sack in Fred's cab. You're the only fairy to take them because Kate and Bill are away. Fred started his engine and away he went. Bruny Island was a new location. He never visited it for years, except Lou was the first fairy to go to it. When he arrived at the other wharf, there was a slight disappointment of finding no other van to take the parcels. Oh no, what am I going to do? said Fred. I'll have to find the post office myself. He started looking round to find it. Hello, Fred, said Lou. What brings you to Booney Island? Pat asked me to take the parcels to the post office, but I missed another van, said Fred. Oh, that's a shame, said Lou. That van was in a rush to get to the post office. Loose captain, which happened to be Pocket Pig, said when he heard what the talk was about, that there's a r r road just beside us. Oh yeah, said Lou. You can follow it going to the village. Good idea, said Fred. I don't want to get lost. So he did, after thanking Loose captain. He saw the van heading to where he was heading. That's strange, thought Fred. What's that post sticking out of the van? It didn't seem to be a pole. It was a tail, but Fred didn't know mm. till he would find out. At last, he came to the town. The van arrived at the same time. 
Why? That driver doesn't look human. It's one of those American birds, said exclaimed. The driver noticed Fred. He came out to see why he was on his tail. Auntie, were you wanting your purse given to me? said the road runner. Yes, said Fred. I was too late to give them to you. Now I've caught up. They can be put in the van. There's no need for that, said the road runner. We're next to the post office. That's the shops next to it, so the parcels contain food, he went on. In saying so, he took the post Fred was carrying. He did this all quickly. Wow, said Fred. It's amazing how you do it differently like the postman does. One was ill, so I had to take over till he's better, said the road runner. Now the van's empty, I have to give it back. And he left, leaving the hat on the seat in the van. Fred went back to Snug. <laughs> he reminds me of the emus, he chuckled. I wonder if Australia can have roadrunners. <laughs>